right for the blog today um it looks like Dan's working from the shadow I seen inside the store and I'm sitting there going well if he's working they're gonna leave me out here alone and I won't be able to get caught up and, and it's like you know and now they're thinking I'm going too slow and it's like due to my bad right shoulder I can't really push no more than than six carts. If I try seven, I'm going to be hurting my shoulder. My shoulder's going to hurt real bad. And this is why I also have to have it checked by a doctor. I was told they said to know what's really going on with that shoulder. To know if it's still in joint or not. Or if that pulled out or anything they gotta x-ray it and I may or may not need shoulder surgery and if I try pushing like I did before this injury happened it could make it worse now Let's see. Now, like I don't want to say um, with my my shoulder being like that, I can't really do carry out seeds or otherwise. Again, so I've been trying to load the bird seed with only one, only my left arm and that. But, you know, you don't want to tell customers that, you know, and, um, well, they're talking like it's going to rain this afternoon, and this is where I don't want to say even the day, and it's like, what was the front end manager, I did put in the review for Emma B., was no longer at this location. That they should have Dan out here the whole time. You know. I think they'll try doing something so they could. Make a true excuse why they can't. I think they'll try to officially make him a cashier real fast. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because they'll say, oh, he's no longer carry out officially, you know. Well, carry out means the same as cart pusher or stockman, you know. Or a cart attendant. But, they all mean cart pusher, basically, but, um... I don't really want to do this anymore, but, like, a lot of places, there, what they told me is, hey, if we would hire you, we don't want you at the front end. You got all this training and experience. Why does Menards have you pushing carts or cashiering? We think that they're holding you back. And that's where I don't really answer. But. Um. Yeah. And. It's like. With. Even today it's like. like I don't want to see them in urge. Yeah I'm right Stan. If they'd have Dan out here the whole time, it's like your parking lot would be clear. This is why I don't want to say. I know you're low on cashiers. You got a lot less cashiers than you do a year did a year ago. And secondly, 
Yeah, I know. You wouldn't have to worry about, you know, having to page someone out here special to help get caught up during the week. Every time I have to work. And... You know, it makes things a hell of a lot easier, it does. You know, because it's like, I don't want to say this. What are, what are you guys going to do when I do leave Menards? You know, I leave Menards for a different place to work at. You know... And it's just like I said, um, you know, it, it's all quite, you know, funny when, when you point it all out, though. But, <laughs> it, cause it's like, you know, if I leave, I bet you you wouldn't have an opening cart pusher for Black Friday. Because I'll tell you this. You know, now customers are after carts when I'm near that door there that says in. Or I'm in the middle of that road in from that indoor. Or we're told we can't stop because... Like I said, it's a danger zone. People don't pay attention when they're driving or they're going way too fast and they could hit you. Even if I'm not on the sidewalk, I'm on the side by the sidewalk. I still have to keep moving because I don't know if, like I said, someone could sideswipe you and you'd be injured. If people hear that, they're going to look at me funny and they're going to go sideswipe. What, what are you talking about? And I'm like, people don't pay attention when they're driving. They're going way too fast in a parking lot. You should only be going like, what, five miles per hour in a parking lot. Even past the door because you don't know if someone's little kid runs out in front of you. You're not going to see that little kid run out in front of you. You know? <coughs> so. Yeah. Um. My other suggestion is, like, like I hate to say, yeah, if they keep Dan out here, that'd be great. My biggest suggestion is replace Hunter and Austin. Because then you'd be able to go back and doing like you did last summer, having a bunch of cart pushers on Saturday and Sunday, and having enough during the week to cover. Because, like, I hate to say it, if I get a different job, it's only going to be the start of each cart pusher quitting. Like I said, I haven't seen that Joe work here. So, there's some of them I'm suspecting are starting to quit. I think he quitted. But, like I said, I think even um, Dakota Frank quitted or got fired. But, I think that Jen that was a cashier quitted. I haven't seen her around either. And, I remember memorizes you because it's like you have so many people that have been quitting just quitting and most of your cashiers are here less than a year <coughs> and it's like eventually you're gonna move Dan inside permanently Try on the sales floor. And what are you going to do once 
Because I think even um, little Aaron, he'll, well, once he graduates college, he'll probably go for a job that he's going for for a degree. You know. And them high school boys, once they're out of high school, they're not going to stay at Menards. No. Like I said, um, that's retail for ya, but, um, like with today, I'm so tired. It's unbelievable.